Hi, I'm Billy with another great do-it-yourself project. Today, I'm being joined by Renee from Heartland. Hi, Billy. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll be showing you how to build the Heartland Rainier 10 foot by 10 foot wooden storage shed available at your local Lowe's store. A storage shed is a great solution for cleaning the clutter out of the garage, basement, or closets. Use it as a spacious workshop, a gardening shed, or maybe storing those seasonal items you want to get to easily. Wooden storage buildings are strong, durable, can be customized, and shingled and painted to match your home and suit your taste. Heartland offers a wide range of easy to assemble wooden storage buildings in numerous styles and sizes, all with pre-cut parts, complete floor systems, and pre-hung doors. These are all available at Lowe's.com or at your local Lowe's store. We chose the Rainier, which is a gambrel or barn style shed due to all the great benefits, such as a ton of overhead storage space. And it includes a free loft for extra out of the way storage. The construction of the Heartland storage buildings is very similar. Even if you're not building a Rainier, a lot of the same techniques can be applied to your building. In addition to the kit, we'll need to purchase some materials to level the shed site and some paint, caulk, and shingles. The Rainier can be assembled using some basic tools and a ladder and typically takes about a day to assemble and possibly a second day to paint and shingle. So how did we build this great looking shed? Well, it's easier than you think. Let's take a trip back in time and we'll show you. Pick a site that's relatively level and doesn't get standing water and make sure you have at least three feet of clearance from fences or any other structures. There are many ways to level a shed site. We suggest using some solid masonry blocks and 4x4 treated lumber. Use some gravel for drainage under the blocks too. Now that the site's level, let's take an inventory of the Rainier parts. Sort the materials in the area that they'll be used. This will make it easy to locate them during assembly. For example, this side panel will go on the side. Let's go. Assemble the floor frame and set it on the 4x4s. Be sure to check the frame is square by measuring diagonally across the corners. You know you're square when the measurements are exactly the same. Here's a very important step that really pays off. When you install the first floor panel, use this panel to square the floor. Place the panel flush along the floor frame and in the corner, nail it down. Move to the other end and move the panel side to side. This will square or rack the floor. Nail down and continue installing floor panels. Now that our floor is built, it gives us a solid work surface to build our walls on. We'll build our back wall first. Since the back and front walls are tall, it's easier and safer to build these while they're on the floor. When the back wall is built, flip it over. It will be in the correct position to stand. Build the front wall and then the side walls. And now our walls are right where they need to be for standing. So let's begin by standing our back wall. Next, stand both side walls, and then finally, the front wall. Make sure you assemble the rafter halves the same for an even, smooth roof. Build and install the loft supports and the loft panel. Our Rainier is really taking shape. Let's go ahead and put on the roof panels. Install roof panels squarely over the rafters. The shed doors come pre-assembled with the six foot continuous galvanized hinges attached. It's a great time saver and makes installing fast and easy. Center the doors in the opening and screw in place. Then finish the doors by adding the door hardware. Finish the front and back walls by adding some trim. We're ready to start finishing our roof. If you have purchased drip edge and roofing felt, add this first. Pick some shingles to match your home or give the Rainier a unique look. Install the starter row and shingle the roof to the manufacturer's instructions. We suggest caulking, which protects the shed and gives you a great looking paint job. The Rainier will look great no matter what paint color you choose. And the siding is pre-primed, making painting a faster job. If you want to customize your shed, Heartland offers a wide variety of accessories. You can view these at Lowe's.com. Doesn't that look great? 
Now make sure you follow the instructions that came inside of your Rainier shed kit. That's how we got this great looking Rainier shed. Now we have plenty of space, it's ready for use, and it will last for years against anything the seasons throw at it. Heartland, the backyard storage experts with affordable shed kits that are easy, fast, and you can do it yourself. Hey Renee, let's get this Rainier loaded with those tools.